Hello, my name is Tara Cecil, and I had joined the Dear Julie Julie Scrap All About It May Mayhem 2020 Junk Journal Challenge. This is the second big journal that I completed. I completed a mini 6x6 journal in March for a mini challenge, but this is the second month that I completed a full junk journal challenge. And this one is called... Kathy's Garden. I made it for my mother. To start with, it has a fancy closure. This is a Sewology metal filigree clamp. I hope I said that correctly. With a gold belt, I added a tassel with some beads on the side with a bulb pin to open it. Simply pull and it opens like that. It's a sewn in single signature, but it has lots of goodies. So there is no I should have done two signatures. Lesson learned. The bulb pin is attached with um, into a grommet in the side of the book, the book that I bound with um, cardboard fabric, and then I I covered it the inside with paper cardstock paper, made a pocket, stenciled it with or uh, brushed it with some ink. This was from. Dear Julie Julie's mini challenge. Um, it's a bookmark inside of a package. It's a large bookmark with the tassel on it, some lace. Doily. This is a paper bag. Inside the paper bag is a cluster of tags. This was part of the ch mini challenge number one as well. And I decorated the clusters differently. Attached it with the bulb pin. And it goes inside this little bag here. And then the next part of the bag, I have a um, we had to make 10 clusters. The 10 clusters had to have stitching which I stitched on the lace, sewing pattern, and a paper flower. And I added a leaf and a bling. And then this one, they can write a little note inside there. And that was in the second side of this pocket here, of the paper bag, Just like that. Next, I have a border tuck. The border tuck was a requirement. Um, flowers that were not paper. Stamping. And a sticker with an insert into the tuck. I dried these in the microwave and pressed them and added it, added a piece of packing tape over the top. I st stamped, added some Staples for some metal bling with this large journaling space on the back, and that slides in there. Cute little hummingbird sticker. Here I have a journaling tag that I made, rounded the corners. I added some uh, pattern, some book page, and some paper flowers. Some graph paper. This next one is um, a flip out with a waterfall notebook, which has a doily. This is a requirement: a doily, messy thread, and stamping, which I stamped the butterfly on this flower punch, and it's a note waterfall with the place to stick um, a 
appointment cards in. This can go into your purse if you got to go somewhere. Um, this is a flip up, flip down with a fussy cut image. Stamp, a postage stamp, and a paper ruffle with a pocket. She can also add something under here like a picture or something if she wants to. Or another note card. Now it doesn't want to go in. There it goes. This one is top tuck with insert. It required stenciling, a metal piece, a game piece, and I used a category, categories game sheet for this with some lined journaling space with a little tuck pocket and some lined journaling space inside the little flower tuck that I put in there. Added some washi tape and some stamping on that as well. Next page is my layered collage page, which required a ticket, paper pattern pieces, a postage stamp, Fussy cut image. There's my there's my fussy cut image right there. It's this flower. Next is my belly band, which required a game piece. And this is a flinch card washi tape and messy thread and that's she could tuck a picture up inside of here if she would like some dyed paper that I dyed with food coloring I use this on a uh, broiler pan and that's how I got the lines on here so she can do some journaling. This is a flip out. Some more of that food coloring dyed paper and I put this on a little lined grill uh, roaster thing that goes in the oven that lifts the, the meat off the, the tray. This one is uh, a tuck with a, the requirement for this one was two index, file index cards um, with stenciling, a quote, a book page, and I added a pocket. Sorry about the bump. Try to steady that for a second. I added a list notepad in there. This can also be pulled out to go to the grocery store. Some of the graph paper, more of that colored paper, the, co the food coloring dyed paper. This is a extra large journaling tag. Had to be three by seven or larger with line journaling space, a paper flower, sewing pattern. And I used one of my required to make 10 clusters, which required a paper flower, stitching, 
pattern piece. And it's a tuck spot so she can tuck in a picture or a little note in there as well. This is, I made two flip up, flip downs by accident and they're both in the book. So this is my second flip up, flip down. And this one opens up for a full journaling page with some of that paper from the broiler pan. There's my postage stamp. My fussy cut image, my paper ruffle with the insert card with the paper ruffle, fussy cut image, and stamping. She can journal on the back of that as well. Journal spot, some more of that girl paper, some lined paper with the flip out. Dyed paper. This is on a uh, jerky drying pan, so that's why it made the little squares. This one is from a receipt. The requirement was two receipts, so this is one of the receipts. Required bling, lined journaling space, a paper ruffle. I also added a tuck spot so she can add something in there. Journaling paper. Here's a pocket made from parchment paper. This is the second receipt with the ruffle, the paper ruffle, line journaling space there. And bling. So there's my bling. Added some washi tape as well. And that goes in this pocket. This is also a tuck spot so she can add something in there as well. More of that dyed paper. Journaling page. This one is a double tuck ensemble with three inserts so this is the, an envelope that is this is the open the flat part here's one tag this tag the ensemble required book page non paper flower and stamping so I stamped there's some book page there's my non paper flower she can write us Something on the back. Same here. Line journaling space on the back. My center signature. And this, one of the requirements was having a signature string with signature tie bling. Has bling washi tape, and a postage stamp. And it just hangs down the bottom with my little butterflies. I added washi tape there to a butterfly. These are journaling hearts. I learned this on another um, they open up like that. And this is from another um, G is her name. I can't I can't remember her last name. I learned this off of her journaling page, her journaling YouTube site. And these move so this one can come out here. Here's the third card, journaling card with line space of the ensemble There's an envelope there these go back in here just 
like that. There's a tuck spot here to tuck in a picture or something. It's more the requirements on the double tuck, which was a book page, non-paper flower, and stamping. This one is a flat paper clip with two pockets. There's one, there's two. And this one is required to use stenciling, junk mail, a doily, and two inserts. So there's the doily. There's stenciling. There's my paper clip. I used a privacy envelope and I cut it in half. Used the window on here. I added parchment paper in between to make it look like somebody's window. And journaling space for that one. This one has a notepad that goes in. There's an extra little pocket to hold something special she wants to save. Added a little lace ruffle to the top of this notepad. Sewed it on there. Stamped my bird. Added some bling. There's my altered paper clip. So the, the concept behind this one was to be like somebody's window, looking in somebody's window, and this is the bat, this is in the yard, and the birds fly over the bird bath or into the bird bath. That's, that was my concept for that one. This is one of the 10 clusters. It is a coloring page. I added a paper paper flower ruffle stamping, sewed on some ribbon, uh, some lace, and she can journal in here. And this goes inside this pocket. Another journaling page. One of the required tin clusters. with sewing pattern, stitching, and paper flower. Added some bling to that one. A flip out. A long flip out there. This is my second file index card, which was a requirement with stenciling, quote, and a book page. Stenciling, quote, and a book page. This one also has a tuck with some more journaling area that goes in there. And this flips out. Slide this over just a little bit. There's some journaling space there. There's washi tape holding it on here. Large journaling tag with line space and a quote. Fabric, my fabric tuck, which is also a requirement, and it was required to have uh, with an insert with a quote. Um, a ticket and fabric. So there's lined, there's my ticket, there's the fabric, put on some lace, there's my quote, there's my insert. So that's my second file index card. Another of my required 10 clusters with the sewing, the flower, 
the pattern. This one is a little notebook for writing little notes in there. A little list. This is one of the ten clusters. I stitched little vines across there and I turned it into an altered paper clip. This is my fabric flip, which had to have lace, a quote, and a ticket. Here's my tickets. There. This is an altered paper clip as well, with a piece of ribbon stringing down to hold in this, which was from the mini challenge in the challenge. This is the mini challenge number one, a fake journaling envelope decorated to look like it could have gone through the mail. So I have it stamped like a return address there, like it's going out there. There's the envelope part and it flips open and flips down and out so you can write in there. And it looks like an, an envelope. And then I put a little pocket on the outside. And there's little tickets. This is also one of the required tin clusters with the paper flower, the sewing pattern, the stitching. And I stitched this little piece of ribbon right on the line where it says sew ribbon here. And then these are held in with this altered paper clip. And I stamped the quote on here as well. This one is a pair of pockets with inserts. The pair of pockets required a book page, stitching, and a napkin. I also used the required two guest checks, decorated with napkin, sticker, and metal. So here's guest check number one, guest check number two, and the guest checks required stickers, there and there, metal, there, and glitter, there, and the glitter, and then my bling, and napkin. This is a napkin here, this is a napkin here. Here's the required book page. I stitched a vine around. Book page. I stitched this napkin on here. So there's stitching there. And the guest checks go right inside. Some more of my glared collage page with the fussy cut image, which is on the other page, but there's here's one right here too. Um, my ticket, my pattern piece, and my postage stamp.
my flip with a tab tag. So here's the flip. This is a tab tag, which requires washi tape, stickers, and stenciling. And stitching, sorry, stitching, which is along the sides here. I stitched on the lace. The and then there's my flip-flop with tab tag. And these flip out to bright more. That one. That one. Whoop. And these ones. So both pages flip all the way out. So it's a whole page to write on. Two whole pages. This was the mini challenge in the challenge number one as well. This is an index card pocket with a pull tab insert. Decorated with three or more items. I did the tab, stenciled, stenciled. And the three or more items can be any part of the ensemble. So I used messy thread, book page, stamp, bling, sewing pattern, paper ruffle, messy thread. Here's another of the uh, large tags, three by seven or larger, using line journaling paper flower, and pattern, which is right there. This I also used the, one of the ten clusters as well, which included the stitching and the ticket. And that goes in that pocket, and she can also write on the back. I'm saying she, because this is going to my mother. This is her Mother's Day gift. I told her I was making it, and it was going to take all month. So... I will be getting in this this in the mail soon for her, and then when she hat when she gets it, I will inside the the package will be a link to this video so she can go and watch this video. This one is the book page pocket. So there's my book page, and it required a quote, a fussy cut image. And lace and I also used one of my tin clusters which required the flower the stitching the pattern and I added it the pattern piece around this coloring page stitched it on there and this goes in this book page pocket And it also has two areas to write. There's two cards with that. So insert there and an insert there. And lace there. Staples. Writing spot. Some stamped image. This is another of the ten clusters with the pattern piece, the paper flower, the stitching. I added lace to this, and it's just a little tuck to hold photos or pictures in, and there's another tuck to add photos or picture or photos or a note in. This one is a pull tab pocket with insert. Requirements were messy thread, paper ruffle and line journaling space with an insert which also has line journaling space on the back.
this is a double pocket bank envelope. Requirements were junk mail, sewing pattern, and paper flowers. My paper flowers here are made from junk mail. I took our local flyer for a new business that we don't frequent a lot and I punched out my flowers from the street tacos and different parts of the flyer to make my flowers. There's the street taco. I inked it. Insert number one, another of the junk mail flowers. I added bling. There's part of the postage from a return part of an envelope. Line space pattern. I used a Lowe's paint chip piece. And then on the inside here, I have a pull tab with a recipe card. Added a washi tape, a little color flower where you color it in. I added a piece of my grandson's artwork he wanted to write because Mimi was writing. That's what he calls me is Mimi. So I punched out his little artwork because he wanted it on there as well. Added some washi tape there as well. And that goes in the top part of this envelope here with the pull tab. This goes in the pocket on the back. And that is the flip through of Kathy's garden. I hope she enjoys it, which I know she will because she likes flowers. And I will tuck in some of her some of her other favorite things like poodles. I have a poodle bookmark that I'm going to stick in there for her. And. That's what it looks like from the top. That's what it looks like from the side.